How you doing, sir? Can you hold your signs up in front of the camera? What do you got here? Universal health care with the uh, hammer and sickle. I just made this today. That's, that's pretty creative. DC rally last week. Big fat no. Yeah. yeah. And uh, my passion, the First and Second Amendment. We should be oh, everybody's passion. Very America. good. Very good. How about the Tenth Amendment for state rights? Uh, most definitely. If that's what it's about, states' rights. We have 50 states in this union, and each state has its own rights. Right. Okay, very good. Um, have you heard recently the comments made by Jimmy Carter? Most the former, former president of the United States uh, about, about people like just like you Most who definitely. come out to protest, mm -hmm. he considers racist. What do you think about that? Well, it used to be decorum that when uh, an ex-president walked away, he went fishing, he went into a happy retirement. That decorum was broken when George W. Bush retired, okay, with Al Gore, uh, Bill Clinton, and in Jimmy Carter's case, who I consider the worst president in my lifetime, and I only go back to Truman. But Jimmy did something that's right from the playbook. The, lift, uh, the, the left and liberals in general are devoid of any arguments or logic. So to get around that, they pull the race card out of the hat, and that's supposed to be the argument stopper. It doesn't work anymore. Jimmy, please go fishing and enjoy yourself. <laughs> okay, I guess, that, I guess that deals with Jimmy Carter. Okay, what do you think about this new bill uh, that... Senator Max Baucus came up with, seems to be uh, by himself, because I didn't see anybody at the camera with him supporting it, um, that, a bar that, a, that Barack Obama seems so willing to sign. Again, he's um, coming up with bill they're coming up with bills in the House and the Senate that he doesn't seem to even want to read, uh, yet he's, he's so anxious to sign it. So what's the deal with that, do you think? Uh, it's damage control. Uh, I say it all with my sign here, no universal health care period, and I'd rather not say any, I want to keep everything status quo. The government has no right putting their hand in my pocket to pay for other people's health care, period. Right. So this idea that instead of uh, public options, they're going to come up with co-ops, do, do you buy that? No, uh, uh, a wolf in sheep's clothing, same thing, co-op, we're just changing the terminology around. Right. So they're trying to sneak in a, a public option which will eventually lead to single payer, which is total takeover by the government. You think that's their main plan then? Of course it is. And can I comment on Joe Wilson? Sure, go ahead. Okay, finally somebody developed the spine. But uh, Joe Wilson called Barack Obama on illegal aliens uh, receiving health care. So Barack Obama came back and said, no illegal aliens will receive health care. But guess what? Barack Obama is working overtime to make those illegal aliens legal. So that makes Joe Wilson a liar then, I guess, because now they're legal. 40 million more people on health care, no more doctors, plus the recent poll that said 45 doctor, 45 percent of all doctors, if this goes through, they're going to retire. Ah, what do we do then? I guess uh, Barack Obama is taking a page out of Clinton's playbook and saying that it all depends on the meaning of the word lie, right? Exactly. Uh, can I say something about his czars? Sure, go ahead. Okay, I, I was a patriot uh, from, from the get-go. In the late 60s, I went into the service. And I wasn't much into politics. I just served my country. When I came out, I still wasn't into politics. But then my eyes started to open with a group called the Weather Underground and Students for a Democratic Society, yes to yes. And I'm saying, who are these despicable people? Isn't that the uh, group that Bill Ayers was a part of? Well, that's what, exactly what I was getting at. Bill Ayers and Jeff Jones founded the Weather Underground. These are despicable left-wing terror groups, and these people today are advising our president. Wake up, America, please. Wow, that's a great comment. Appreciate your comments. Thank you so much. Uh, my pleasure. Okay, take care. Sir, you heard that gentleman's comments. you have something you want to add to it? I can't add much more to it. I have one thing I'm concerned about in this country. I have two grandchildren, and I don't need them paying for, for you and for me and for everybody in the past for the next, I don't know how many years that could be. Their grandchildren are going to pay for this also? Terrible thing. So I want this guy and I want this government out. We need a whole new government. You know, you got 545 people in, in our government, and you got over 300 million in this country. I'm more than sure that we can find... 545 other people in this country to take the place of those. Thank you, sir. Sir, I'm, uh, uh, I'm sorry I have to ask you this, but the media is making a big deal over it, so I'm just going to ask you point blank does, blank, does this have anything at all to do with the color of Barack Obama's skin? Absolutely not. Absolutely. Do, you, do you feel insulted that they're implying that or actually coming right out and saying it like Jimmy Carter did? It seems that the only ones that keep on saying it is them. I don't ever heard it come out of any of our mouths here. 
you know, right, and Nancy Pelosi is talking about she's afraid of violence coming. And do you, have you seen any violence coming from the Tea Party goers? Absolutely not. I was in Washington. From what I understand, someone, one person was arrested for some stupid thing where they crossed the street over another marathon that wasn't planned. Oh, you mean jaywalking? Yeah, they were jaywalking <laughs> and so. But, but uh, that's what happened with that person. But other than that, I mean, uh, according to what they're saying, is we had almost 202 million people in Washington, D.C. Did, did, you, did you hear about that protester uh, like a month ago, I think it was, who got his, had his finger bitten off? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. That sounds pretty violent to me, and that's not coming from the, uh, from the Tea Party goers. He was a Tea Party goer. Absolutely not. You know, we, look, we, we're not, we're not, look, we're not out for that. We just want to change this government around back to the Constitution the way it was. You want to know something? Let's get rid of the constipation in Washington and let's get back to the Constitution. That's what we need to do. That's a pretty good motto. Can you hold your sign up so we can read that? Hear ye, hear ye. We the people, Suffolk County, New York, land of the fee, say no to H.R. 3200 health care bill. In God we trust. Listen to the people. Do not underestimate us. September 12, 2009. Excellent. So you brought that to D.C. with you then, huh? Definitely. Definitely brought that. You know, we brought it. Uh, no, no, uh, no to tax. Well, you were there. How many people do you think were there? Well, standing in the crowd around me, you couldn't really tell. But when you looked at the pictures and the aerial photos and so on, uh, there had to be well better than a million people there. You know, that's th that that's remarkable. That's that's just, that's historic by any any me stretch of the imagination. It stretched from the Capitol building all the way down to the Washington Monument. That's a mile. And if you look down there, you didn't even see the side streets. That's a lot of people covering that by square inch. I don't know if they can figure it out, but I think they do. But uh, I believe that there could have been you know, well over a million people at this march. And I hope we're going to do this again next year. Important that we do it before next November when the elections come up. So we have to be back there. The problem with this country is we forget too fast. And if we keep on doing what we're doing today, we will, in November, succeed. Well, that's why you keep coming to these Tea Party events, to keep reminding the people out there of what's happening that's so they won't forget, right? Well, come out and keep on going out here and remind us. Keep on reminding everyone that you know. Send your emails out. Send anything you can. Keep this in the minds of the people from now until November 2010 when it comes for election time and we can get these people out and put the right people in. And I'm not talking about uh, parties. I'm, talking, I'm not talking about Democrats, Republicans, or any kind of a party. There has to be other people out there that belong to no party that can change this country back to what it used to be. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Appreciate your comments.